all right guys so it's time to move on to the hat finally we're so close to being done now so for the hat we're going to start off with our slip knot so again we've done this a couple times now so i like to hold it in half grab onto it and twist with this loop i'm going to go in to grab this yarn and pull it through then i'll take my crochet hook insert it into the loop pull on this yarn now we're going to chain two so let's yarn over a hook pull through for one yarn over again and pull through for two so now we're going to single crochet five times into the first chain so here's my first chain let's go in grab this yarn and pull it through two loops on the hook yarning over pulling through both so now i have to do that four more times oops Okay, so if you need to, you can put a stitch marker into that last single crochet you did, but I'm not going to do that because I can keep track for my next round. For round two, all you're going to do is just single crochet. So you're single crocheting five times, and that's going to be round two. So just a single crochet row round. Now for round five, we're going to increase into each stitch. So going into my first stitch with my first single crochet. Now into the same stitch, I'm doing another single crochet because this is an increase. Now we're going to repeat that all the way through. So going into my next stitch with my first increase, I mean my first single crochet and then my second. And now you're just going to repeat this all the way through until you get 10 stitches in total for round three. After round three, this is what it looks like. For rounds four to six, you're just going to single crochet. So we're just creating a little bit of length for the top of our hat. So just single crochet those three rounds. Again, that's rounds four to round six. And you're going to end up with 10 stitches in each of those rounds. All right, so now that we have a little bit of length from those single crochet rows, let's go on to round seven where we're going to do an increasing round. So let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So here's my first stitch. I'm going in with an increase. So that was one single crochet. I'm going in with another single crochet into that same stitch. Now into the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. So we did our increase into that first stitch and now we're doing a single crochet and then you're going to repeat that all the way through until you get 15 stitches in total for round seven so i'll demonstrate one more time going into the next stitch i'm doing my increase so that was one single crochet another one into the same stitch now into the following stitch i'll do one single crochet and now i'll just repeat this until i get my 15 stitches in this round So after the increasing round, it does push out a bit, but at the top of this, I usually like to bend it down. So we'll see how that looks later. But um, going on to rounds eight to 10, you're just going to single crochet those rounds. So you're still going to end up with 15 stitches in each of those. But again, that's rounds eight to round 10 that you're just doing a single crochet row. And then once I finish that, I'll be back to show you my next increasing round. Alrighty, so the hat is getting a little bit longer now, so let's start to make this opening a little bit bigger by doing another increasing round. We're on round 11 right now, so let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So here's my first stitch going in with that first single crochet and my second single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to follow that by single crocheting into the next one two stitches so just do one single crochet into each of those and then we're going to repeat these three steps all the way through until we get 20 stitches in total in this round so going in with my increase so that was one two into the same stitch and then you follow that by one single crochet into this stitch 
I'm confusing myself. Okay, and then another single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to show that again since I kind of paused on that one. So we're going to follow it by an increase into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the next one, two stitches. So just one single crochet into each of those. And then if you repeat that all the way through, you will end up with 20 stitches in total in round 11. Okay, so after round 11, we have our 20 stitches in this round. Moving on to round 12, all you're going to do is just single crochet this entire round. So nothing's going to change with the stitch count. You're still going to end up with 20 stitches in total for round 12. Round 13, we're going back to an increasing round. So let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. I just did one single crochet and I'm doing another one into the same stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. So just doing one single crochet into each of those stitches. And then I'll repeat those four steps all the way through until I get 25 stitches in total. And I'll demonstrate one more time. Going into that next stitch, I'm starting off with my increase. Then I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. And now I'm just going to repeat those steps all the way through until I get my 25 stitches in total for round 13. This is what our hat currently looks like and we're going to be moving on to round 14 now. And 14 is going to be a simple round because all we're doing is single crocheting this entire round, which means there's going to be no stitch count changes. You're still going to end up with 25 stitches in total in round 14. Moving on to round 15, which is our last increasing round, let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So I just went in with my first single crochet, going in with my second into the same stitch. Now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. So just one single crochet into each of those. And then I'm going to repeat those five steps all the way through until I get 30 stitches in total. And I'll demonstrate one more time. So going into my next stitch, I'm going in with an increase. So that was one, two into the same stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. Also remember this is our last increasing round and it should fit on top of the head, which I'll show you after round 16. So anyways, now I'm going to finish um, repeating these steps all the way through until I get my 30 stitches in total. Every time I make it towards the end of the video, I always like lose my train of thought. I've been filming this for like almost, like this is over seven hours already. And um, it doesn't even take me that long to make one of these. It takes me like, two to three hours so i'm going crazy right now but okay so i'll finish this until i get my 30 stitches and then i'll be right back okay so this is what the hat currently looks like and so if we put it on top of the head that's what it would look like but i actually want to do one more round so for round 16 you're just going to single crochet that round because i want it to be just like a tad bit longer so for round 16 just single crochet that round which means um you're still going to end up with 30 stitches in total and then after i finish that round i'll be back so i can show you how I end off the hat. Okay so once you finish round 16 you can remove your stitch marker and now we're just going to cut some of this yarn off and then you're going to need your threading needle because we're going to do that closure again. So just grab your threading needle and then just pull your yarn straight out. Let's insert our yarn into the needle. Oh it's splitting again. Now we're just going to go into our next stitch. So this one right here, you just want to push your needle straight through, just pull through. And then you're going to go back into that first stitch, but um, this time just go straight into the middle. So here is the stitch. I'm going straight into the middle and pushing it out through the back. Just pulling my needle through 
and this time we don't have to tighten it we can just leave that stitch there doesn't matter too much and then we're just going to push this yarn back in also when i glue this to the top of the head i don't put any stuffing if you like to put stuffing you can do that but i just leave it alone and then we're going to glue this on later but first we need to add the beard for the beard, I'm going to take a smaller size hook. So this is a four millimeter. You don't have to go in with a smaller hook if you don't have one. I'm just going to use it because I feel like it's a little bit easier, but you can definitely use the same hook you've been using to make everything. But for our beard, you want to take your yarn, actually first take your hat and place it on top of the body. And I actually don't like this little part right here, so I'm going to put that towards the back. And then I'm going to see where the hat lands. So it lands about at this stitch right, or this row right here, or this round. And so I'm just going to take it off. And I'm going to insert the hair in between these rounds right here, because that means it'll be covered by the hat. So let's take our yarn, and I'm going to hold it like this. Just I have it in half. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'll insert it into the rounds that I said would be covered by the hat. So these two rounds right here. I'm going to take the yarn, insert it in the hook, and pull it through. You don't pull it all the way, but you have this loop right here. So you can just insert this part of the yarn into the loop and pull it. And then you just flatten it down. Now you can insert it the other way so you can remove the, or it, does, it won't show this part, but honestly it's going to be covered by the hat so it doesn't bother me. But I'll show you that two more times before I finish the rest off camera. So to demonstrate again, I'm going to take my yarn and I have it in half. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to insert my hook through the round. Now that I have my hook through, I'm going to take my yarn, place it onto the hook and pull it through but i don't pull all the way just enough until i have this loop now i'm going to take this part of the yarn and place it through the loop and just pull on it and pull it downward you can insert how many ever you want into one stitch but um i don't really care for it to be too thick if you like it thicker that's fine but i kind of want mines um to lay down kind of flat but feel free to do whatever you like i will demonstrate one more time Okay, so this is the last time I'll demonstrate before I finish off camera, so I'll try to go kind of slow. But again, I have this in half. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch. Insert my hook through the rounds, downward, taking the yarn, putting it onto the hook, pulling through. I have a loop right here, so I'm just going to take the yarn and put it through the loop and pull it downwards. Okay, so before I go off camera to finish this, you want to place your hat back on and you want to determine um, how far you want your hair to go. I don't make it too far. I kind of just go like probably from here to here. Um, and then later on, we're going to trim it at the bottom. And then just so you can see, the arms are going to go be glued on right here. So you don't want the hair to go past your arms, of course. But um, I'm just going to make mine a short distance because I don't want it too far apart. But I'll just finish the rest off camera and then I'll be back. Also, if you your hat is too small because you overstuffed it, you can just pull on this, stretch it out a bit, and then it'll fit a little bit nicer and then later on we're going to bend the top because i know it looks kind of weird right now but don't worry once we glue everything it'll look good so now i'm just going to finish attaching the rest of this off camera and then i'll be right back hey guys so i have my hair all attached and i'm so excited because we're almost done but if you feel like your hair isn't as full what you can do is um, below that row that you attach that first um, hairline, you can add some more yarn underneath it and just do the exact same thing on attaching it. But I didn't put too much, I only put like four of them. And now I have my hot glue plugged in, so what I'm going to do is just glue this down. I'm not going to glue all the way down, I'm just going to put like about halfway. And then I'm kind of going to straighten this part out. And then I'll lay it down flat like this. And then at the end, we'll trim it, but not now. So let me show you how I glue it. I'm just explaining it now in case I can't talk and glue at the same time. So let me see if my hot glue is ready. Okay, so I'm just going to take my glue and lay some down. You don't have to do too much at a time. Now that I have it on, I'm just going to make sure 
the hair is flat and straight and then I'll just lay it down flat like that. Remember, be careful, this is hot glue. And... So this is what it looks like if you like to go in on the side and just glue some of this down. You don't have to put too much glue because, I mean, hair isn't like that slick back. You can have it a little bit flowy. But the reason I'm gluing this down is because I'm gluing on the nose to this part. So I just want to make that this part of the hair is at least flat so the nose doesn't fly off. But I'll just finish gluing this part and then we can move on to the next thing. Okay, so I kind of want to trim it now, but since I have my hot glue in, I'm just going to glue the rest of this stuff on. If you want to trim it now, go ahead and trim it, and you can just, you know, style it however you want. But if you want to wait until I do it, let's first glue on, let's do the hat next. So if you feel like your hat is looking a little bit funky, you can stretch out the top as well as the bottom. And we're going to glue this on, but before we add the glue, let's make sure the hat is going in the right place. So you just want to make sure it looks good. I'm going to put on the nose just to see what it looks like. Ah, oh, it's coming together. Okay, so next I'm going to... It's so hard with the camera in front of my face, but um, we're going to take our glue and add it to the brim of our hat. Oh no, I'm running out. Okay, I'll go back in to add more glue later. But um, now I'm just going to add the hat. Oh my god, I put that right there on accident. Okay, so I'm just going to go off camera really quick so I can get more glue. Now we have our hat on, let's do the nose next. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the nose and stick it right there okay so let me add this glue may have added just a bit too much but i want to make sure it sticks and i'm going to hold it on for a few seconds so i'll be back once this is dried god it's so exciting it's coming along together now let's glue on the arms next. So have both of the arms. You want to place it like right below the hat. So like this. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it right there. So let me take my hot glue and place it to the back of this arm. Again, if you like to sew it, go ahead and do that. But I don't want to. And... Now I'm just going to hold this down. I'm going to do this other arm off camera, but so far this is what it looks like. I think I glued on the arms a little bit too close to the beard. I don't know what happened there. But now let's glue on the hearts. So I have my four hearts here. I'm going to just... I think I want to place them kind of low and high. So I'll just place this randomly. ended up adding more than four hearts because I felt like it looked a little bit weird but maybe I should have went with white felt instead of this red because I don't know how I'm feeling about this right now but now that we do that I like to take the top of the hat and then I bend it to the side just a tad bit I feel like that looks cute that's, maybe that's why it looks like a wizard when I do that but okay so now we have to trim the beard so I'm not that good at this I kind of just make a little curve at the bottom but what I'm going to do is just start from one side and I kind of just angle it and then I start curving at the bottom and then once I go back to this side I go back up 
and then I'll just have to fix the rest off camera. But basically just cut down this way, curve at the bottom, and then cut back up. I do like how this turned out, but I think I might like the one in watermelon much more, so this one right here, because I love the color on this. I just felt like I was making so many things in this color that I wanted to switch it up a bit. I think maybe if I went with the white felt, I would like this more, but I did want to use up all my red felt. And anyways, this is the outcome of our Valentine's Day gnome. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I think I only have one more Valentine's Day themed tutorial to post, which is going to be up probably the week after I post this one. But I hope you guys really like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.